Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Good to see y'all. Um, I just wanted to today do something by request. Uh, I'm gonna do a short video on the Burkos Effects Third Stone Fuzz. It's a silicon fuzz. Um, the two videos ago when I did Why Do We Keep Buying Pedals, uh, I had some people ask me, hey, can you just do a video on that? I, there's not many out there, so I'm happy to do so. So this one goes out by request. Um, so here is the standard tuned Sir that I own, straight into the two rock. Okay, so there's the clean tone and what I'm gonna do, and just to preface this because the third stone's so cool and what I really like about it is the volume on this. If you played around with a lot of fuzzes, you might kind of have experience with the fact that a lot of them get too loud too quick. Um, they barely crack the volume open and it's like immensely loud in your face. This one is, is super controllable and very much so um, craftable like tone wise with these specific knobs and dip switches. And we'll get into that right now. But um, yeah, so. So the amp's pretty clean right now. Now normally what I would do is I would have a little bit more grit to push the fuzz a little bit more, but I just wanna show you how great this thing is with a clean platform, which speaks volumes for a fuzz. So um, yeah, let's just go right in. So that's pretty, you know, much, I had the fuzz, all, this is the fuzz, sun is fuzz. This is kind of like a tone knob, um, volume obviously, and then we'll get into these really quick. So right now, the setting that it's on, on axis and mids, so we're pushing the mids, like so the mids are more focused. Axis is more of a, um, like an aggressive um, tone, so just check this out really quick. got a harder bite to it 
Um, so let's do that again, but I'm gonna engage the bass. So, so this is mids and this is more of the low end, if I flip it down. So let's kind of toggle back and forth between those really fast. It's got a lot, you can tell already, it's very um, tweakable, very tweakable. All right, let's put it on the experience and then let's put on the mids and we'll, we'll flip back and forth between the mids and the low end. There's so many great tones in this pedal. I mean, it really has a lot to offer in kind of figuring out ways to cut through the mix. Now, let me mess with the earth. So this is just the amount of bass attenuation that is in the pedal itself. So when I go counterclockwise with it, um, basically it decreases like the bass. So this brings in more mid-range if I'm going this way, so check it out.
get a bad sound out of this pedal. Like, it, it really is. Um, so let me show you how tameable this volume is. So it clipped there, I was just watching Pro Tools. Um, so when you get it up, you know, I got it up around here, it was gonna clip the mic a bit. But it really only kicks in right around here. Um, the other cool thing about this is when you turn this off, there's a click. Um, and if it's on your pedal board, there's no, it's only battery, so there's no power source, like you can't use a one spot or whatever. But um, batteries last a really, really, really long time. Um, there's two battery slots, one for the LED and one for the actual pedal itself. So when you're done the gig, if you forget to click that guy out of there, it's gonna suck your battery life down. Uh, but I have actually left it on accidentally and showed up to a gig the next day and it was fine for the whole gig. So really, you know, just be conscious of that, I suppose. Um, now let's talk about the fuzz. Let's, let's see how, how much that fuzz um, knob is uh, monstrous. really all I have to say about that thing. It's great. It sounds wonderful. It is... I think it's pretty easy to find nowadays. Like, I think you can still order it through Burkos. Um, I got this one on Reverb. I was stalking Reverb for one of these, and one day it just happened to show up, so I bought it. Um, yeah, guys, I would say... You know, if you, if you like fuzz and you're kind of on the fence between, like, a germanium or silicon fuzz... There's so many great ones out there right now. Um, I I tend to lean towards silicon just because of the, you know, stable nature of it temperature-wise. But there's, you know, always have room to try things out, whether it's germanium or silicon. Um, if you have any other fuzzes that you think I would really dig, let me know. Definitely interested in trying out the new Benson one. That's the germanium ten temperature controlled uh, fuzz that they're doing. Or self-regulating temperature controlled. I don't. But definitely, you know, give this one a peep. I think that uh, Doyle Bramhall might still use it. That's why I got it, as I, I heard him using it, and his tone was great. And he was stacking it with the Janray. So, you know, if you're... It's a 
big difference when you stack fuzz with an overdrive or if the amp's breaking up a little bit. In fact, let me see if I can juice the amp. <laughs> up a little bit let's just put this sucker in here idea a little bit um, the amps just breaking up a tiny 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 bit but put an overdrive you know after this thing and woo it gets you know peels the paint off the walls so anyway guys thank you so much for uh, stopping by for this uh, which I meant to be short video but it went too long as usual <laughs> um, let me know if you have any questions anything you guys want you know me to check out comments below all right guys appreciate you take care of yourself take care of each other uh, stay safe and I'll see you next time.